Hello, Galaxy! I'm Chris Perillo, and you're watching the Locker Gnome Daily Report, or TLDR for short. I just successfully pre-ordered a Pixel 6 Pro. This is obviously not the Pixel 6 Pro. It is the Pixel 4 XL that is installing the latest system update, which also dropped today. Uh, Google has, of course, done their event. Wanted to give you my reaction. Uh, I was busy uh, so that I could multitask and get things done, but uh, could not stream the announcements live like I did uh, with yesterday's Apple announcements. Uh, I, uh, I, I've got some feelings about what Google is uh, offering here. And of course, the event I thought was uh, tight. Uh, it was exactly what it needed to be. Uh, although, absolutely no surprises whatsoever. Like, no shock. No, nothing that, that hadn't already been leaked. I mean, I've been seeing Google advertising these products, the Pixel 6 products, for the past two months, like constantly on Twitter. Like, oh, great, it's an ad for something I can't get. No, oh, it's an ad for something. So I expected today, when it went up for pre-order at the beginning of the event, I'm like, okay, no problem, cool. Kept running into an error. Like, the entire hour. This is just a comedy of errors, really. Ultimately got through. Uh, I'm very grateful that uh, that happened. Uh, I'll be getting that, unboxing it, doing uh, comparisons, at least with the cameras between other uh, newer devices or new-ish devices, I should say, and uh, or at least over the past year, flagships. Uh, also uh, doing the review, things I like, things I don't like. More of that to come. Of course, a lot of it will be dropping on the live stream. Twitch, every night, 6 p.m., that's where I'm geeking out with the rest of the community. You can join us there if you are so inclined. So I thought I would run through uh, the, 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 uh, the announcements or just a high-level overview. Of course, they've got their new chip, which honestly doesn't mean much to me. The Pixel, for me, was never about the hardware, is not about the hardware, and I'm not saying that because it's quote-unquote inferior, because it isn't. The Pixel experience is much more than, you know, this. It, this this is this is fine this is the thing that gets you the software experience you need this so uh you know a, a lot of the foundation that google has laid is the idea that they'll be able, better be able to customize uh the google pixel experience let's set android aside for a second the google pixel experience could be further uh you know uh refined and so if this is the direction they want to go with it okay as long as the software story continues to sing I'm in. Uh, so the, the the next big surprise for me was the price. Uh, I, I wasn't uh, shocked in a negative way, but given that the Pixel 6 starts at $599, wow, that's that's kind of low uh, by today's standards. And even the basic, or the, the 128 gig uh, Pixel 6 Pro is at $899. So again, that's rather fantastic pricing uh, for what would be considered a flagship model. And again, I'm going to go back to what I said before, it's not about the hardware, it's about the software. And if you don't understand that about the Pixel, then I'm not sure you're going to be all that impressed with anything that Google had to offer, because you're going to be inclined to compare it against this, that, and the other thing, non-Pixel devices. It's kind of like comparing an iPhone to, uh, to non-iPhones. Like, it's it's just, it's apples and oranges. Um, so, ra random specifications. Uh, I'm happy to see that the Pixel 6 Pro has 120 hertz screen. I'm in. Uh, I was waiting for that upgrade. Uh, the Pixel 6, of course, uh, is, is uh, locked at, uh, at 90. That's that's as high as it goes. That's the big reason I would suggest if you're if you're going to go between the two, always go for as many frames per second as you could possibly get. That's my humble opinion. Uh, designed with recycled aluminum, it's great. It's usually not something that I think about, but I'm glad that they do. Uh, there's going to be five years of security updates on this device, which is great because not everybody gets the latest and greatest every single year. Usually they wait a few years. So to know that you could get a device now, this a Pixel device, and it's going to be supported in that capacity for the next five years, that's good news. Even if you're not the one that's going to get the Pixel, it's good news for the person who is going to get a Pixel because that's a, a, a level of comfort that not every vendor necessarily uh, has. You know, not 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 every vendor offers. Uh, there are others. I'm not saying Google's the first to do something like this. It's just outstanding to see. Uh, it's going to be faster, of course, than previous generation devices. So this is going to be a big leap from a Pixel 4 XL, certainly, and even from a, a, a Pixel 5, which honestly was kind of a side grade, if not slight downgrade in terms of speed. Uh, but it's all about the fluidity of software. And that's something that I remarked on in talking about the Pixel 4 XL with Android 12. 
it's snappy. It's it's certainly snappier with 12 than it is with 11. Still got issues. Hopefully, the final build of Android here uh, that they pushed this morning is, is going to resolve those issues I have with it, but we will see. I have no idea. It's my intention that when the Pixel 6 Pro arrives, I'll be switching from the uh, Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra to the Pixel 6 Pro because of the camera. And Google knows what they got. It, this is... It, by far one of the best smartphone cameras in a series that I've ever used. And, and I, I mean, I remember using cameras pre-iPhone on phones, like going all the way back to like a Nokia device, uh, like ancient days, pre-smartphone era. Um, I know they continue to make devices, but not like it was back in the day. So uh, th th they know they got uh, lightning in a bottle with the camera and so of course they push that for further and further uh the, the pixel 6 pro has got a wide camera ultra wide camera and telephoto camera but it's not about the camera it's about what they do with it it's not about the lenses here it's about what they do with the lenses uh sorry i didn't mean to hold this upside down that that wasn't intentional it's just how i grabbed the phone and of course i got another one here uh, so it's not the lenses, it's the photo output. And so that's the software story. And that's the thing that makes the upgrade of the cameras that much more dramatic. It's because you already know that a pixel is going to produce great images. Not the camera lenses so much, it's the output of those camera lenses. We got super res zoom, happy to see that. 4K 60 FPS video, uh, which is nice, uh, using what they call HDR net on tensor. Uh, so HDR video, 60K, uh, or 60K, we're not quite there. 4K at 60 FPS, good to see. I don't shoot a lot of 4K video. I, it's not really something that I do. I certainly don't stream 4K, uh, but I, I, don't, I, I know it's a thing, but like I, maybe I'll start 4K video. I, I don't know if, I, it, I know it's coming, but I, I'm not as excited as other people are. I'm not uh, I'm not a resolution freak as far as video goes. I want to get as high quality as possible, but that's the thing is sometimes the, the 4K video from smartphones is not great quality. It's okay quality, but it's not as good the actual output itself as a 1080p video because you've got issues uh, like muddy and, 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 and color problems. and We'll see how this output turns out. I will give it a shot. Very happy to see the magic eraser feature coming to Google Pixel 6. Disappointed that it's not a part of Google Photos. Maybe that feature will come uh, to non-Pixel devices by way of Google Photos, that would be nice. But a magic eraser is something that I could use, especially this time of year when I'm taking a lot of photos of trees that, that have power lines going through them because the, the autumn in the Pacific Northwest is absolutely breathtaking or like, you know, power poles or whatever. Uh, to be able to remove those from the shot or people or, you know, things that would otherwise, uh, uh, you know, destroy the output of the photo to have magic eraser built in uh, I, I'm, I'm very happy to see that. Face unblur, another issue that I've had with uh, smartphone cameras, or really any camera, uh, you know, when there's not enough light, uh, you, you can't capture motion well, and then you end up with this blur. And especially where faces are concerned, uh, that's a problem. Well, now they've got something called face unblur, uh, and I expect it to be awesome! <laughs> because a lot of Google camera features have been awesome, because the software works well. I'm not going to talk about the video features about the Pixel Nexus necessarily, because that hasn't necessarily worked well. Uh, I'm not the first person to say that either. But the actual camera or photo output features in software uh, are, are very exciting to hear because this is really what makes the Pixel the Pixel. They also added something called motion mode. Uh, so y you would want blur to, uh, you know, uh, it, it denote or I guess to uh, emote. What's the best word to use in this context? To convey there's some kind of motion even with a still person, a still per a person in the foreground or a still object in the foreground, but motion in the background. So it just it, it creates like a, a it just a dynamic image, even though it's a static image, uh, or, or or convey. Okay, I'm gonna move on. I think you know what that is. Uh, so it's almost the opposite of face unblur. It's it's mo it's adding blur where otherwise it wouldn't necessarily pull uh, pull out. Uh, they added something that to me became uh, a, an issue. Uh, real tone, not because of, of, of my skin tone, but specifically my daughter's and, and even Diana's to a certain degree. I took a picture with the uh, iPhone 13 Pro Max the other day and Jedi's face, I kid you not, I tweeted this, turned out the, the, the iPhone colored it like a pumpkin. Like the iPhone gave my daughter a pumpkin head. 
I'm like, she's not orange. So I'm very interested in trying Google Pixel 6's real tone feature with the camera output because that's something, that's a situation that I would absolutely be running into on a regular basis. So that's something that I think uh, it should be stated loud and clear when we do uh, smartphone care, uh, camera comparison tests because not everybody looks like me. Uh, not everybody looks like you either. There's also auto enhance with real tone, so uh, the the ability to 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 not um, distort colors when it's trying to get the right skin tone uh, in you know from from the uh, the, the subject at hand. Uh, any kind of thing that they can do in software, I'm all for. Uh, then the scrolling, I'm scrolling through the the list of things that they announced. I use uh, voice typing all the time like all the time and the pixels uh the pixels voice recognition on the pixel 4xl was great i missed it a lot and the speediness was 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 amazing palpable especially when you compare it against other android devices even using uh google's uh, speech recognition and, and the voice dictation on other android platforms uh, so uh, now there's up to 3x faster uh speed over typing so i assume they made you know improvements so if it got faster great if it got better even better uh the pixel voice recognition honestly wasn't a problem to begin with and that was of course it's 3x faster than typing because you can talk faster and you can type well at least i can uh there are additional call uh, help features uh so are helpful call features that's the way they listed it uh where you could be uh you know you know when you're put on hold and you don't want to sit there and wait to, for the, the other end, the customer service to, to pick up, it'll automatically let you know when customer service is picked up. So that's nice. So you don't have to stay on hold, really. Uh, there are also other features that the, the, the Google Phone app on a Google Pixel uh, provides. I assume all of those are carrying forward as well. Uh, I would say one of the, the more interesting uh, uh, features that I, I don't think is going to get enough attention is the live translation feature. And yes, there are live translation apps on a variety of devices, but Google's tried to make this as seamless as possible, uh, helping break down language barriers and i expect this to only improve over time haven't had a chance to use it obviously but you know certainly there are times where i'll be kind of listening in on conversation trying to figure out what's going on there have been times that i've traveled uh, uh you know foreign uh not domestic uh to, to other countries where they spoke a language that wasn't english believe it or not uh again not everybody's like me uh, and and i would have been able to use something like this in those situations uh diana speaks spanish jedi speaks spanish so it would be really cool to be able to have a conversation in English with someone who's speaking in another language. Uh, these are amazing features, but again, most of what makes the Google Pixel the Google Pixel is the software, not the hardware, the software. I got I mean, I just got to I just need to highlight that in like bold, uh, yellow and and pink and blue, all the, all the highlight colors. It's about the software more than it is about the hardware to see Google stepping up its hardware game and taking this a bit more seriously in my humble opinion than they they might have last year with the Pixel 5 which I skipped uh wasn't my thing was it, it wasn't for me may have been for you wasn't for me uh you know I, I'm happy to see that Google is continuing the Pixel line disappointed that I didn't hear about a Pixel watch 